Hello everybody, welcome back to more New World. In this one we're going to take a look at leveling up your engineering skill. Um, I've picked an easy way to do this. Uh, there are multiple things you could craft to upgrade your engineering skill. Now, uh, materials you are going to want for this method are... You are going to want timber, we're going to want linen, and we're going to want horse leather. Um, usually I find the, uh, the timber is the one that you usually need the most of. This is uh, made by getting green wood. I'll try to go through this from the beginning. Now I already have a video on where I like to farm my hemp. It's a little position just over this way. So to get your linen you're going to want to farm the hemp. And that'll give you fibers. Bring it over here to the loom and this will allow you to create your linen. Uh, after that then you're going to want raw hides and uh, trees. One of the main reasons why we're in Windswood, right? Because we can get the hemp from here. Uh, and this is really convenient, pretty much straight outside the entrance of Windswood and you can start getting your green wood uh, and skinning your wolves just here. Uh, I don't feel like I need to do a wolf tree farming video, so I'm not going to do that. Once you've processed all of your materials then, or bought them, depending on whether or not you want to cheat, um, I of course have been gathering. My, my uh, levels are getting pretty high. I'm going to try to get my uh, logging and tracking skills here up to 100. Once you have all of those materials then, I'm going to come over here and we're going to create the treated wood bow. Um, obviously, depending on how much materials you have and how much weight you are able to carry. So I can only make 59 right now because that is how many I can carry. Um, so I'm going to do all 59 and then I'm going to skip to when all these are crafted because it can take a little bit of a second for that to happen. Okay then, so <clears throat> once all of your bows are crafted, you'll have a list like this. Uh, the nice thing here is it lists them in gear score order, so the ones that are going to be most valuable will be at the top. Um, and generally, especially if you're going to do the bow, uh, if you are going to try to to save any to sell, make sure you pick one that fits with someone's build. So this Constitution and Focus one, probably not that great, and then you can salvage this to get some of the wood back. Uh, note that it's only wood that it will give you back, um, so, ju so just bear that in mind, you will still need to go and uh, gather more stuff once this is done. So I'm going to sort through these right now. Um, I'll probably keep maybe the top two ranger bows um, and then just kind of deconstruct the rest. Okay, so um, I've salvaged all the ones that I wanted to salvage. I've kept one. I'm going to try to sell it. I uh, always try to sell them at, at making a profit. I see a lot of people putting those bows on at like four gold and losing money. I don't know why you would do that. If, you, <laughs> if you're going to lose money selling it, just, uh, just deconstruct it. And as you can see, I can make another 39 here. To, uh, to continue grabbing experience just because they've now cleared up some weight, obviously. I want to address something that somebody's probably going to say, that is that you could do the Iron Musket 2, uh, and instead of um, linen, you'll just need iron ingots. Um, so this is probably doable in a similar way in Everfall, as there is a very good iron farm just around here. And so you could do something similar. But I, I find it's a little bit of a further track to get out to where... Um, to where the wolves and the uh, the trees are, so I feel like that's that's considerably slower. Um, this, and the same goes for this um, area in uh, in Monarch's Bluff. I haven't tried First Light, so technically I haven't tested it there. But I came across this in Windsward. Um, this is how I've been leveling up my engineer skill and decided this was this was pretty good and should suffice for a good amount of um, of engineering leveling up. I'll. See if something else takes my fancy, kind of like at a higher level. See if there's anything faster that I think is more efficient. Um, the, the level 2 stuff, so when it comes to doing um, this stuff needs higher tier... No, not this stuff, where I like things like this. Need higher tier materials, and they require us to farm another item, which I'm going to do a video on separately as well. Either way, hopefully that helps you guys level up your engineering skill. I think that got me up like 6 in that one, particularly. We're up at engineering 76, which really isn't bad. So uh, hopefully this is helpful for some of you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.